Step 3. Creating the Master Script Click on the Master Script Window button to open the Master Script in a separate window. The purpose of the Master Script is the following. It is a script that is executed before every other type of script. So, whatever you write in the Master Script will be executed before the 2D script, the 3D script, the parameter script, etc. In our case, we will now use the master script to define variables we are going to use in both the 2D script and the 3D script. Type into the master script the following code. Click the Help ARCHICAD GDL Reference Guide menu item to open the GDL manual. Find the IF command on page 216. The if-then pair of command is what we are using here. Its general working method is the following. If, condition, then. Commands to execute if condition is true, end if. You define a condition and you define a command or a set of commands that should be executed if the condition evaluates to being true. In our case, the condition is the following table underscore type equals h98. So the commands between the then keyword and the end if line will be executed if the value of the table underscore type parameter is h98. Of course, we have to set the possible values of the table underscore type parameter to be h98 or h99. So it will always be either one or the other. The last line of the if-then structure in our case is an end if command as shown above. As you can see in the GDL reference guide, there are other syntaxes of the command, but we are using this one only. The above structure will set five different variables to various values when the value of the table underscore type parameter is h98. These are all values we use when the h98 type table is generated. Go back to the floor plan and activate the 7.4 master script variables saved view from the navigator. Here you can find the dimensions that the above parameters are used for. These dimensions and variables will be needed when generating the table top and the legs of the table. As you can see, out of the eight variables, four were defined in the if-then structure. The other four will be defined later with an explanation. Go back to the editor window, open its master script window again, and type in the following code after the code in it. With the two if-then structures, we have set all the necessary variables for both types of the table that are specific to the table type. Still in the master script, type in the following code at the end of the master script. These four lines of code are not in an if-then structure. The reason for this is that these two values are the same for both the H98 and the H99 types, so we did not include them in both if-then structures. Instead, we placed it at the end of the script so they are always executed no matter what the value of the table underscore type parameter.